the flight engine of my crew. I am really sorry my colleague Nate Sanders report couldn't make it here due to some health issues. But before me starting I have a video from him. I would like to oh. okay. So before me starting I have a video from Rifat I would like to play. Please Hello friends, I am uh, Rifat Sharuk, lead scientist of Kalamsat team and I am not able to be there today due to some medical reasons. Our team's flight engineer is there with you, so he will uh, talk about how we achieved our goals and uh, how a bunch of kids can build a satellite and launch that thing into space. And I'm really sorry because I'm facing some health problems, so I'm not able to be there today. Uh, I hope you'll enjoy his talk. Thank you so much. That was How many engineers here? Pretty much. How many engineers who haven't done something great? Not me, not me anymore. Not me. To do something great, you don't have to be great. To do something great, you don't have to be great. You don't have to have a brilliant idea to do something. Nothing outside the box. Because when you start to do something, people will be like, think outside the box. But you don't realize, in order to be outside the box, you must know what is happening inside the box first. Then only you can create ideas which are outside the box. So here, my journey begins in 2015. First year of aerospace engineering, and this is the last day where you have to collect your free receipt from the accounts office. I walk in there with my friends and there is this big poster up there which says educational trip to NASA. Okay. I don't know what is happening. I don't know if this is possible but I want to go for it. I'm like dad, will I come home, we'll talk about it. That point I knew nothing what this organization does. I, don't, I knew nothing if it was possible that a normal student from a college who is studying aerospace engineering could go and visit NASA's facilities, have hands-on experience on rocket science and learn everything what NASA has actually done all this way. So everything is done. The next thing I know, I am in Kennedy Space Center in Florida and there there is this huge Atlantis space shuttle right, standing right in front of me and I am like, is this really happening? Because it is not easy for anyone to just go into NASA and see all this. But Srimati ma'am, she made it possible for us to go see and then do something with our life. So that's how, that is my turning point of my life. I come there and I'm like, okay, if this is what aerospace engineering, something terribly, terrible is going wrong with my engineering in Chennai. So I'm like, okay, when the trip comes to an end, we had hands-on experience on rocket science. Literally, we learned such a lot that we did not gain in class. So we come back in engineering and the life is going very simple. We are not doing anything great. Like I told you, nothing great is happening. Ordinary life. I'm going to college. I'm coming back. I'm sitting in class for eight hours, not learning anything. And then there's this call from Srimati ma'am telling, guys, do you want to do a near space launch? I'm like, okay, what is this near space launch? That's when our journey started. That is the turning point of my life, my friends, my team. That was, we had to make a payload which was attached to a weather balloon which reached a height of 1,7,000 feet. Our main objective, objective was to measure radiations in space. Since that was a start, we were very basic because we were new to this field. We haven't done anything. We have no hands-on experience in rocket science, satellites, nothing. And that is when I meet Rifat, who is the lead scientist of our crew. It was his idea to do something like that. 2015, after a lot of struggle, we reached literally staff, students that, sir, we are very young. Could you help us? And they tell us, no, you've got to go study. You have to study more to do this. No, you don't have to study more to do this. We reach our seniors. They like, when we could not do it, how can you do it? So this is the answers we get when we go and ask help from someone. So we're like, okay, if these people don't want us to help, they don't want to help us, we'll do it on our own. I know it will be hard, but we'll do it on our own. So we started off with it. The launch is done, and after a month, 
we are in Limca Book of Records for achieving this project. We are the first Indians to do it, so and no India has done it. And actually, so we were very proud. I'm like, thank you, everyone, the teachers, my seniors, who you did not help, who did not help us. We could achieve this without you, but. It doesn't mean that we have any grudges on you, nothing like that, we started. So, that is when, uh, don't look for defining moments in your life. They'll never come. Defining moments never come in your life. Whatever defines you has happened already, and it'll happen again. Just keep going with the flow. That is what happens. Coming back, like Neil Armstrong said, one step for man and a giant leap for mankind. We had done near space launch vehicle, but we did not want to stop here. We had one more project coming up. Since we had became little popular after this thing, sweeping Limca Book of Records, we wanted to do something little big. Not like a giant leap, but a small step. We came up with a satellite, a 10 centimeter cube. Kalamsat was our third project. Our second project is still in US. It is waiting for launch. It has been getting delayed due to some technical issues, but I suppose it will be launched very soon. So that was our second project. We made a 10 centimeter cube, which was a suborbital flight, and it, it had a camera on board, it had like 11 sensors, a motherboard powered by itself, and we sent it there. Since that launch was getting delayed, actually we shipped that night, that night was a, I can tell you the most amazing night of my life, that's when this idea for Kalamsat came. Like you people saw the video now, that idea, this is how it starts. The Kalamsat, this second satellite has been shipped to USA and we are all celebrating. Ma'am was so happy she made gulab jamuns for us. She made gulab jamuns for us and we are happily eating. And out of nowhere, Rifat is like, Ma'am, what if we make a satellite that is the size of a gulab jamun? Now how do you relate a gulab jamun to a satellite? Then you're like, he is an idiot, leave, let's not think about it. But then later, later they're like, yeah, we can do this. Now the main objective was for Kalamsat was to make it more economical. Now there are millions of people here, not here, in India, every, everyone who dreams of sending something into space. At least once in our life, you all would have had an idea looking up in the stars and telling, oh, moon is so beautiful, I wish I could reach there. Everyone had this dream of becoming an astronaut myself, I wanted to become, but then not everyone is. What happens is people think it's going to be very expensive. It's going to be very hard to do something like this. You need to be extraordinary. You need to, you know, be a genius out of this because all scientists are genius. No, they are not. They are not geniuses. They're just students like us who are sitting here who just want to make a difference in today's society. So we started off with Kalamsat. Now the main problem we faced was anything that goes into space requires a lot of money, a lot of money. To launch such a small satellite, they ask like $50,000 it's going to cost. That's the round off, I can tell you. I'm just telling you the near price that is the, that they have asked to launch. We do not have that money. So what do we do? We thought, okay, since size and weight matters, let's shrink the size, like gulab jamun. So the 10 centimeter cube became 3.8 centimeter. The weight from 200, 300 grams came to 64 grams. Now that is the difference. A difference between micro satellite, nano satellite, and a femto satellite is that anything less than 100 grams is called a femto satellite. So that's what Kalamsat is. And next is the material we use that put on the weight. Aluminium flight metal was our second project metal. I'm like, okay, listen, let's do it something extraordinary. Let's do something else. Okay, here we come up with. Since then, the latest three months ago. Uh, Astronauts in International Space Station started using 3D printing because it is more economical and it is, you know, it can be done in very short amount of time, does not require that so much of manpower. So we're like, okay, let's print, let's 3D print this in carbon fiber polymer, which is going to be strong and which is going to be light. Basically telling Kalamsat can withstand 20 Gs, that's like 20 times the force of gravity. In order to explain you people, it will be like an elephant sitting on Kalamsat and it's not breaking. But really it's not sitting, it's just the amount of force it is experiencing. So that is when it happens. And then, Kalamsat is ready. And then there are people. When, like I told you, before my first project, we approached seniors and this, 
this was again we were we were taking a step further and we wanted to do something better so we reach these people and they're like no dude just because you achieve first project you don't think you can do all this thing again so this is where i tell you people don't go telling the world that you're ready to do something let not the world tell you that you're ready to do something just do it think about it and show them they'll they'll keep telling no you're not ready this is not your time but don't listen to them it's your idea it's your innovation innovation don't require permissions into the world for coming if that was the case we won't be having this it would it would have been someone's idea to start all this so like that it was our idea and i wish you all also to start this next thing no matter what you do you just cannot satisfy everyone in this world we cannot satisfy certain people certain people are going to talk for you certain people are going to talk against you but that's not, that does not matter and this point it is called as criticism that is what we face a lot of criticism india cannot win the world cup every time we cannot win we can try but and that's what trying is what the effort we need so people will be like okay you did something great but why did you do it with them why not with us here is the question after we have represented india in an international level for space research this is what we get why did you take up nasa why didn't you take up isro so it's like that it was not like that it was a competition it was an opportunity for us to do it and let me tell you kalam sat was the first indian satellite to be launched on a nasa's rocket no one has ever gone on a nasa's rocket kalam sat was the first satellite to be launched on a nasa's rocket and they were so happy about it they were so proud so i'm going to leave criticism aside i'm not going to talk about it next thing what a team faces is called disaster management like right now let me relate the situation rifat is not here my speech was only for 7 minutes and i have to talk for 15 minutes now so this is called as disaster management there's a very funny story i don't know if it's if it's like it is meant to happen to us or it's not the funny thing is that whenever we create something we make some satellite the night before shipping everything fails nothing will work sensors will start giving negative readings that's when you should be like you should believe in yourself okay we can fix it and me i you know i'm the funniest guy in our team i'll be like tension nahi lene ko ho jayega that means like you don't have to worry it will be done ma'am will be like how will it be done all right no ma'am don't worry it will be done just believe in yourself and literally every time she has believed in us we have not put her down and i hope that is going to be a future thingy we don't want to put anyone down our main mission here like i told you millions of people children's dream over sending something into space now let me tell you kalam sat was gone along with 70 other projects along with satellites that were there with us and they carried chocolates bubble gums cotton and these are all those young kids who dream of sending something into space 600 700 800 standard these are all those people and nasa encourages this maybe in future times to come india will open up such gates for youngsters that time our space research will be in the next level but in order to start something there someone has to take the initiative someone has to take the risk so that is the risk we took for the next generation to come and possibly if so if we could do it so will the next generation we wanted to just open up this gate for them that whoever thinks of sending something into space it's not expensive it is economical it is not hard you can make it anyone can make it if we being students here you guys also can make it even the young, younger generation is going to be so smart they don't even have to learn about it because this is their generation's technology 3d printing satellites this is their generations satellites from thousands of kgs are coming down to grams so this is what next generation is going to do and this is what we wanted everyone to achieve now let me tell you something about the word kalam apj abdul kalam has been a mentor for every one of us like we he is an inspiration for everyone now our first project in 2015 the near space launch vehicle dr apj abdul kalam was invited for the launch but sadly few days before he passed away and since then we had to give him a major tribute and since then we started we made sure our project's name were with kalam so this 
maybe our first project was not a great tribute to him, but Kalam Satis. That was our main vision. That whatever we do, people, people, they'll be like, why NASA, why not? So they even ask, why the name Kalam Sat? So we had to explain the story to them again. Now certain people are going to have problem with the names also. So you cannot help it. You'll have to answer. So Kalam was a, being an inspiration, and this was a major tribute. Next thing. <laughs> I miss my friends over here. <laughs> Nothing, you know, just don't wait anyone to define. Me standing here, talking to all of you, it's not what we want, it's what we got. So never expect for the results. Just be prepared for your own thing, your own project. You may be thinking, this may not work out, this may fail, we don't know what happens next. Even we thought that, we thought that, but our thing was, let's not think about the after effects of it, let's just do what we can, and later on we'll see what goes on. So after this project, Kalam said, we did not even tell anyone that we are doing this project, not even my parents who I never knew about Kalam said, until it was shipped to USA. It was dangerous, you know, you're in India. Anything can happen till the last moment. You know, it's, India is like, doing anything in India is like a T20 game. It's like that, anything can change in the last hour. So until it was shipped, we did not have any news about it, and after it is gone out of India, somewhere in the Atlantic, we are like, okay, okay, fine. This is Kalam said, and we are waiting for it. That's when media got to know, and that's when this happened. So we did not want all this. When opportunity comes knocking at your door, you take it. It comes only once, take it. And that will be the turning point of your life, like it was for me. And let me tell you one thing. Before I conclude by, any before I conclude, I want you all to just believe in yourself, Come up with an idea, an idea can be from anything. Our idea came from Gulab Jamun. You people are smart, you can think about anything. So that's how the idea will come from. Remember what Beckett said. This is one thing everyone should remember what she said. So like, like I told you, let not people tell anything. Let they not judge you. Your own, your, your own geniuses, you know your knowledge. You just go execute it. So that is all I want you all to tell, okay? Now coming back, try, just try. Who knows you may succeed, you may fail, but remember, ever tried, ever failed, no matter. Try again, fail again, fail better. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for having me on stage. <laughs> Win an honor.